Good morning, YouTube. I am currently on my way to work. I do work a nine to five for those of you who do not know. It is a very gloomy and gross day outside. That's why I keep looking out the window. It's not, I'm not excited about it, but that is perfectly okay. Today's coffee in my cute little mug that I have going on here. I had this in my most recent full day of eating video, but it is from Etsy. Uh, it has the monogram on top as well. What I'm currently doing, because I'm not using like artificial, quote unquote, un artificial sweeteners anymore. I am using um, just Walden Farms mocha syrup. And I know that that's, you know, kind of is like the same thing as like artificial sweeteners, but I'm just, what I mean by that is I'm just not using like, um, what is it, those packets, you know, because I used to do that a lot. So I'm trying not to do that. Kind of wean off of it and it's really working and it tastes really good and it doesn't taste like it's Walden Farms uh, creamer, at least for me, calorie free. So if y'all are trying to figure out a coffee fix, for your low calorie people, that's what I'm doing right now. What's going on guys? I did the attempt, as you all saw, trying to vlog and then I just totally forgot to do so slash didn't want to do it anymore because apparently I only like to vlog and have energy in the mornings to do so. I'm about to get a workout in right now and then um, later on today I'm going to be meeting Josie at the International Mall here in DC for some photo stuff so that should be fun. I'm not going to record my workout today just because I really need to focus. I kind of just wanted to talk about something real quick because I know that a lot of people kind of struggle with this too. And that is remembering why you started something or remembering your why. So for instance, I train because one, I enjoy it, it makes me feel good about myself. Two, I enjoy seeing the progress in my body and my health um, and my mentality. And three, it gives me goals to work towards. So those are the three main reasons why I started training in the first place. I've been lifting weights, doing bodybuilding style training and everything for three years now officially. I think that it has become a very common thing and I know that I've personally fallen victim to this. It has become a very common thing for people to kind of lose sight of why they started whether it's training or whether it's starting a fitness Instagram, a fitness YouTube, something like that. I feel like it's very common for people to kind of find themselves sometimes losing why their why of why they started that. For instance, when you get involved in fitness social media, and I am talking specifically about fitness social media here, so bear with me. People don't realize how much it requires out of somebody in terms of time, engagement, not getting obsessed with it. And I see a lot of people who kind of start getting into this kind of thing or get into the gym or get into competing in shows for the sole fact that other people are doing it. And it becomes a competition. And then people wonder why they become insecure with themselves or upset that they're not making progress or they start kind of questioning themselves. And I think a lot of that has to do with people lose focus of why they started going to the gym in the first place, why they started doing a fitness social media account. They start losing their focus on why they even started that because they become so consumed in comparing themselves to other people, competing against other people, or kind of trying to one-up somebody. I'm just talking about this because I know that I personally I have fallen victim to it. Like when I first started my, my uh, fitness social media account a year and a half ago, I remember I was getting very frustrated because I wasn't growing as fast enough as my friends who I met through social media. I wasn't getting contacted by companies. I wasn't working with companies to promote products. My social media following wasn't growing fast enough. And it was all these like stupid reasons that are so insignificant. And it took me a little bit of time to kind of reevaluate why I was even doing any of this. And once I started getting my focus back on, I'm doing this for me, not for anybody else. And I trained because this is my goal. And once I finally started working towards that goal, I became, first of all, so much more happier with myself. And two, everything started working out on its own. And I think that the more that you try to force something, the less likely it's gonna happen. 
I think that it's very important for you to remember why you started doing something in the first place and try your hardest not to steer away from that and let other things like comparing yourself to other people, competing against other people consume you because then you're just not going to be doing it for the right reasons anymore and then the whole thing is just going to be completely pointless and then you're going to get frustrated, you're going to start doubting yourself, yada yada. So that was something that I wanted to talk about. Remember why you started doing it. Focus on only that. Things will work out as they should. So that's my little talk for today. I'm now going to go work out, do some back and some legs and some cardio, some intense cardio. So next time you see me, I'll be all super sweaty. And I'm all done. So now I'm going to go shower and then meet up with Josie. See you then. What about Josie? Hi. Hi. Yeah, where's your camera, girl? What the heck? I know, I should have been <laughs> vlogging today. What the heck? This is like my fourth dose of caffeine, but it's totally cool. We're here at the Washington Monument getting some cool shots for Under Armour, I think. Yes, Under Armour. Some really cool Under Armour gear. I do not have any cool Under Armour gear. But they're the videographers right over there. I can, right there, right there. <laughs> Catch these guys running. That's pretty. I like that shade of purple. That's nice. Shades of purple. Come into an Under Armour store near you. Not really, but maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, <dude. laughs> Josie, can you actually skateboard? No. No? Okay. Well, don't break your face. I know. I'm like, let's see. Look like a model. Good? Yeah. Uh So Uber, five minutes away. Sorry, you Josie, did you have fun? Yes, I had awesome time. Awesome time. Thanks for coming and joining me. Yeah, we got to do a collab later. Yes, yeah, sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we haven't done that forever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Challenge. Challenge. All right. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Monday, April 10th. So it is yet again another business week. Friendly reminder that it is not Monday's fault. If you don't like Monday, change your perspective. Get some new goals in place for the week. Spend quality time with the friends you love. Express gratitude for everything that you have in your life and all of those little extra details. And I promise you that Monday will be less of a stressor. I know that Mondays for me are definitely a perfect step into making sure that the rest of my week is on a good note. And I know that that sounds very cliche, but it is true. One of my new goals this week is to start reading a new book. So I finally purchased this, You Are a Badass. So this will be what I'm going to be reading during my metro rides to work and my lunch breaks. So I'm gonna be doing that today in the nice weather today. All right, so my workout is now done. I'm a big sweaty mess, but it was a really good workout. So I just received my package of my flex leggings in the mail. The new, these are the version Three. I remember when they came out with the version two, that was literally a year ago. Now there's the version three. It feels a lot more comfortable than the version two, which I didn't think that they could get more comfortable, but they are. They feel a lot more lighter weight. So I got the one in the blueberry, which I've been eyeing these for weeks. When I first saw them, I like nearly died because this is one of my favorite colors in the entire world. So I'm so excited that I snagged a pair of these. I literally grabbed them in like two seconds. And then the other ones that I got are one of my other favorite colors in the whole world which is this lilac purple it's a lot prettier in person let me tell you very excited to wear these I wear an extra small in all of the Gymshark bottoms obviously the flex details are known for the little detail or the hashtag booty contour if you do not have a pair of the flex leggings I highly highly recommend some people don't like them some people do the people who do not like them they don't like them for the reason that the waistband hugs you too tight which if you carry fat on your hips or your love handles it is going to unfortunately enhance that I don't have that problem which is the reason why I love these leggings another reason people don't like them is because they feel that the crotch area kind of like is weird to me that doesn't happen so again that's the reason why I like them you know I am a tiny female human so that's why these work well with me but you know, before I blabber on too much these are the flex leggings I'm super super excited about them now I'm going to end this video with a physique update I will put in either a video clip of my physique um, depending on how we're looking because lately it's been that time of the month or it's about to be that time of the month and my body wants to be a little bitch with water retention but it's okay because I've been drinking a gallon and a half every day doing cardio and lifting as much as I possibly can every single day so it will all work out. I weighed in the other day at 104 
So that is the lowest I've weighed so far on this cut, which is super exciting because at the beginning of my cuts, which was the end of January, my weight was 112 pounds. A lot of you have been asking, why am I in a cut? Some of you have been asking like, did you miss a video? Did you miss an Instagram post? The answer is no, you have not missed anything. I have chosen not to share that information because I want to share that information when the time comes. So very soon actually, um, I will be sharing with you guys the reason why I've been in a cut. That's where I'm gonna pretty much leave it at that. That news will be coming sometime soon. That is going to conclude this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Make sure that you please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. Really would appreciate your support here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, I'll see you in the next one.